It's Angelina and Dima from Walking Into World. It's our second day of hiking adventure in Kapchi region. For today we initially planned to do the hiking circuit and get up to the Puchtel Palm, as we mentioned yesterday. But today, studying the map a little bit more, we've noticed that there is no actual footpath leading to the peak, which is no good at all because we don't know what to expect, especially now because there is quite a bit of snow left, you know. And even though it's not very high of a peak, it's around 2,400 meters, but still we want to be sure that, you know, it will be possible until we actually, like, uh, will be at the, at the feet of it and just, you know, and stuck and have to go back. So this is like the worst scenario, I think. So instead we came up with another plan. So we'll do like the half of the circuit of today and half circuit of tomorrow that we plan to do tomorrow because it just goes this way it will be nice we think and this way we kind of combine two days in one about tomorrow we'll see because uh, also checking the weather forecast we see that there is quite a bit of change and there is a possibility of rain tomorrow actually starting from the morning which is not nice of course for hiking so we may not be able to hike actually tomorrow so we want to do today you know as much as possible and see as much as possible and well we just hope that it's a nice decision we'll stick with this plan and let's get started with the day The night was okay, at first we slept very well, and then closer to the morning hours we felt quite cold. Even though we had all the warm clothes on us, it still was pretty cold, and we think it was less than 5 degrees Celsius. But it was very quiet, with no wind, so it helped a lot. And yeah, in the end we survived, so this is the most important, no? <laughs> These first several kilometers following the farmer routes, which are very easy, and following the gentle uphill. Today again, another day when the routes get quite confusing with a lot of crossroads, because there are a lot of farmer's routes in this region here so yeah it's really really easy to confuse so our offline maps are at rescue today
we're starting our uphill from the Lake of Arcer, which turned out to be a really nice resting area with lots of picnic tables and stuff like that. And many people actually started their hiking circuit right there at the parking lot. Now we're going on this side of the mountain. We see that there is like 450 meters of uphill for now. And we think it's less than yesterday, so maybe it'll be very challenging, but we'll see that in a second. You can see that this trail is falling along the river quite nicely, going gently uphill, and it follows this yellow mark as you can see, which is also great because we don't have to check our map every time and just peacefully enjoy this beautiful trail. Last couple of days when we were walking in the forest, we were hearing the sound. I don't know if you can hear it, but we think it's actually a deer, male deer, I think. And because there is some special like period of time for them, maybe like mating period, we're not sure. But we can suppose it is true because they're behaving quite uh, specifically. And yeah, th these sounds can be very terrifying if you don't know what it is. Like may seem like a wolf or even a bear but knowing that here in this place there are actually few of the predators so we are sure that it, it's a deer i don't know if you know we film it if we if we spot it it would be like a pure luck <laughs> this is such a funny trail where we have to skip on the wooden like bars and there is lots of wetlands so very easy to wet our shoes, which we don't want, because right now they're drying very slow, the, the temperature is not that high, and there is not enough sunlight. But it's funny, a challenge. Today's weather is quite a bit different from yesterday's, as you probably can tell from our shots. Yeah, it's quite a bit more cloudy, there is yeah. almost no sunlight today, and yeah, so we think there is a possibility of rain later in the day. It adds a bit of gloomy mood to it, but well, it is autumn and we have to accept it, and we'll enjoy it anyways, so let's get going. Going to eat now, very hungry, yeah. uh, lunchtime break. 
you can see where we got a bit cold <laughs> like here it's almost like the highest level of elevation like 2100 meters i think and it is quite cold you guys like today is a lot colder than yesterday yeah. and we think it's like only maybe 10 12 degrees celsius so yeah so we felt chilly and you know <laughs> took out our warm hats and warm clothes so we think we'll continue this way like wearing the warm <laughs> clothes so let's see now following the jar to the Kapsir, this little part, unexpectedly open up the wide-angle view of the Lake Buyus, which is one of the biggest lakes in the area. And we've done quite a bit of hiking there. If you didn't watch our previous videos, go ahead and check them out. There are quite a few of them. We did the whole circuit of all the lakes of the Karlit area and the Buyus itself. So it brings up really good memories to us. Heading to the Plademir, which you can see here, we have left six kilometers and two hours left of downhill, and it follows quite an easy, gentle downhill. And also, it is nicely marked, so pretty happy with it. And we'll continue on that. Hiking in this region, we started to spot these little cabins of wood located close to the refugee houses or you know, like shelters and stuff. And now we just looked inside or just, you know, read what, what it says. And now we think it's public toilets or possibly even showers. I'm not sure for whom it's dedicated, like for hikers or for people who stay in the refugees, whether it's open or not. Now it's closed, for example, but maybe it's just for winter. Don't know it for sure, but in the other areas, like in the same region, we haven't seen it. So, well, this is like, it looks very unusual. This is the end of day two. We arrived to our camp spot close to the river. It was another beautiful day. We passed by many scenic places and amazing lakes. And the mountain views were incredible all the way. Yeah, we think it will be one of our favorite days, even though yesterday we enjoyed it as well. But today we feel like it was the record beaten of, you know, the, the great views as we said and like panoramic views. And also the trail wasn't that difficult at all, right? So there were some places, you know, rocky and kind of slippery, muddy, yeah. stuff like that, but nothing too extreme. And so we can highly recommend this trail for everybody, for any level of, of fitness or 
hiking experience. And we think we ended up falling in love with this trail, actually. Like, this will be one of the favorites for us, for sure. And we would love to go back here. The downhill was also pretty easy, so yeah, I'm very happy overall about this trail. The weather was kind of helping a lot because it wasn't too warm nor too cold. Well, at one moment we felt a little bit chilly, but you know, for October it's all right. Now we're going to set up a tent, do the usual evening routine and go to sleep. We feel very sleepy now. Yeah, right. So we're going to set up a tent and wrap up this day. Hopefully see you tomorrow, guys. We'll see how the weather will be. But anyway, uh, we'll say our final words in any case. See you then and uh, goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below to let us know how you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Also visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Have a beautiful day everybody and until very soon!